Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're meeting Karen. Hello, Bob. And uh, welcome to the channel. Thank you. And you have a really uh, unusual and interesting setup. I do, I do. And you've just started on the road. Yep, five months ago, started on the road full time. Good, and um, so just give us the quick overview of your setup. Okay, it's actually made by a gentleman who I think was brilliant. Um, it's got 175 watts of solar. The little trailer. The little trailer does. And then it also has propane for heat. I have I have a swamp cooler. Uh, not everybody's going to know what that is. But in the desert, it's dry and hot. And you can run the, the swamp cooler with water. just flows and a nice, cool breeze comes out inside the camper. I do have also um, air conditioning. However, I'm not going to usually use that. I'm not going to hook up. I boondock. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you're towing it with an interesting car. <laughs> it looks like an oxymoron to me. <laughs> to, to, yeah, it's a 12-year-old Cadillac, and, and it'll pull 1,000 pounds, and that's about what I got. <laughs> yeah. So you, this was the car you had? And... It was the car I had. I tried to sell it to do a minivan, and I wrote down all the ones you recommended and stuff like that, and that's what I was on the hunt for, but I couldn't sell the Cadillac. So. I thought, okay, let's see how many pounds it'll pull. And it pull a thousand. Now then, I had to find something, you know, that I would love that the car could pull, and it's doing fine. Good. Yeah. And this home-built one is uh, just under a thousand pounds, I'd guess. I, I think so. I haven't haven't had it weighed, but I I'm really hoping that it's just under a thousand. I would sure guess so. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't want to go yeah. over. Yeah. yeah. So all my heavy stuff I put in my car, and just my bed and my clothing I put in the camper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The camper's name is Spec, by the way. Spec. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just a spec. It's just a spec. Yeah. But then, uh, philosophically, aren't we all yes. just specs? <laughs> It's big world. In a big, big world. Yeah. Important yeah. specs, but yes. specs. Yes, that's right. That's, I like it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we'll take a look, but I bet your your Cadillac has a surprising amount of room inside it. It does. But, um, it does. It's not all filled up. So, and I'm learning to purge more as I go. Right. I laugh at how much stuff I brought, and you always said we do. <laughs> and I'm already Everyone. donating to the RTR. Right. Yeah. So it's it it, it works. It works. What made you make the decision, I'm going to live on the road on wheels, yeah. uh, I'm going to be live in a van because? Well, I have a very small retirement, and I was giving half of it to rent a room, um, which is, is fine. I, I was fine with that until there wasn't any money left over to do anything. <laughs> and I thought, is this going to be my life now? And I've been a camper since I was a little girl. I raised my children camping. We all we all camped, <clears throat> and I thought, you know what? I found you, and I listened to every video. I said, oh, I can do this. I can do this. You know, so that's what I decided to do: try to fit my life where it would work with the car and me. The only thing I didn't get was I couldn't stand up, but I got everything else I wanted in there. So I'm actually feeling very blessed that I got what I got. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so when you like you told your family, your son, mm -hmm. what was the reaction? You're going to do what, Mom? No, <laughs> my son did it for a year. Oh. Yeah, and his dad did it for a year. Um, my daughter has yet to do it, but I'm sure she will. I'm going to do this until I physically can't or uh, mentally can't do right. it. I'm going to do it. Hopefully that's yeah. many, many, many years, years away. I know. I hope yes. so. Better now than never. Right. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. 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 So this affords me to have fun. Oh, I'm not paying rent. I have the gas money to go, you know, with miles, so many miles a month and see so many things. And um, it affords me to have fun, have a life. Now I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rather than at the end of the month, no money for any enjoyment, anything uh -huh. you want to do. No. Just necessities. Mm -hmm. Now at the end mm -hmm. of the month you probably have some extra. I think this, I think I'm going to. When I took the trip back to Michigan was the first thing I did to see my children, my, my daughter and my grandsons. That took a lot of gas. So that blew the budget there and back for two months. So now, um, then I went to California to see my other son. Isn't this wonderful? You can just go around the you country can. and visit. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I couldn't afford to fly there, you know. Um, but yes, I think I am going to have a little money left over every month. I think so. 
Good. That's the goal. Uh, yeah, that's the goal. And and even during the month when you're spending the money you ha have, you're seeing things along the road. Yes. You're that, traveling. That's what I call my life now. Yeah, it's, you can't beat that. And for a lot of women uh, who are going to be out on the road alone, um, it's kind of frightening. Will there be problems? Will you run into danger and be hurt? Or you know, you have that? I don't have a lot of fear anyway. I know a lot of people do. Um, it doesn't come naturally to me to have a lot of fear of people. Um, although I, I do have things to help keep me safe and I do use my common sense. That's the whole thing. Yeah, but I would love to, to continue now caravanning because I love being with the people and you're, right. you can bounce each other off, you know, things off each other and help each other. And so I'd rather travel with a caravan for the right. most part. And I, yeah, I do feel safe. So let's take a quick look inside. The, the, uh, it will only take a couple of hours to go through the tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get your ticket here. Right, right, right. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, sounds great. And there's my kitchen. So you're just uh, inside. Mm -hmm. And then when you want to set up outside and cook, you out it I comes. do. I have a couple tables that come out. Um, my water, of course, my stove. Here's my stove. And I have utensils and pots and pans just like everyone else, just a few. Mm -hmm. And every time I hear about having to keep things orderly, keep it orderly, oh my gosh, that is so true. It is. I, when I got here, I, I reorganized and now I know where everything is. And you have to do that regularly. Yeah, I'm seeing that. As you travel, things get moved around and reshuffled and you have to stop and just put everything back away. Yeah, yeah. I, and I did my car too, but it doesn't look like it, but you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, sometimes it just looks like a bomb exploded. <laughs> yeah, so it, and life. it kind of does. There's my cooler. But even even though it looks that way, you know where things are. I do. So I have water bottles and car and I have, or uh, cooler. And of course, I have gallon jugs of water as well in here. And the Reflectix uh, over the cooler was a really, really good idea. Yeah, it depends on where I'm at. If the sun's coming in, I'll do it on the um, the window, of course, or or I'll wrap it around there. I think I'm going to do two weeks with ice and two weeks without. So I'm trying to train myself to eat differently when mm -hmm. I don't have refrigeration. Well, with 175 watts of solar, I think you could run a small fridge. This because you don't have much room to hold it. Right. I was thinking about a small um, crock, what do you call those new crock pots that are out? Instapot. Instapot, yes. A three, a small one. I wonder if I could do that. It'd be close, It'd but be close. maybe. And yeah. you're probably not using much for anything else. Computer and phone. Yeah. yeah. So yes, yeah. probably. And lights in there. I have lights in there, of course, too. Stuff goes in the car, except for my clothes in my bed, and that's in spec. And Just so this room. is a home built. Uh, yeah. You bought it from someone who built this himself. So it looks like he did a really nice job. I think he did too. Nice. Everything is uh, really well done. We probably bought the trailer and built the, the uh, yes. tra camper on, on top. On top, he did. Yeah. Yeah. And a double axle on this tiny I, trailer. I know. It's kind of I, I kind of feel safer with that because if I have a tire blow, I still got three. <laughs> yeah, right. You, <laughs> you're good. It's very, that yeah. is actually wise. Yeah. And I got solar on top. And it's uh, 175, you 175, said? 175, yep. Looks I have like a I fan up there, too. Good. Yeah, yeah, a fan is really important. Yeah, it is. All right, boxes of clothing. I just, everything I need for clothing. This is my mat. This is actually a junior bed from Ikea. Um, and then it came with a mattress and then I bought a three inch foam sponge thing to go on top. It's very comfortable. I feel like I'm in a little cocoon when I'm, when I'm in here. Yeah, this okay. is very comfortable. Yeah. So it feels surprisingly open. And the two little windows bring in some light. Yeah, yeah. and air too. Yeah, that's they're a biggie. Sc they're screened too, and it is a biggie. And with the, the fan, fan up above, yep. you can get some airflow. I can, and it's really nice. And actually some more airflow comes through the air conditioner. I kind of want to stop that from happening. In the winter, that's for <laughs> sure. Yeah. I haven't figured that out yet. And you have a heater. He I must do. have put it in. He did. Um, I have to move my bed away from it, of course. Right, that's awful. And light nice. it, and it, oh. I can turn it on at night and it's so warm. I have to turn it off. Yeah. I don't really need it. I like it in the morning though, when yeah. I'm getting up and getting dressed and sure. bathing, those half baths, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it then. 
Right. Well, you mentioned bathing, so how do you bathe? Uh, I take half baths a lot, and I wash my hair just outside uh, with a water bottle. It, it dries really quick. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I have a bucket for the other business. Right. And just I actually have a... a um, a room for the other business. Oh, we, a pop-up uh, ba bathroom tent, yes. shower tent. Yeah, shower tent, yeah. And boy, I used that this weekend too, and I, that w worked out really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not hard at all. No, there's an easy solution for nearly every problem. There is, there is. I'm thrilled about that, because everybody goes, ooh, you got to pee in a bucket. Well, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got a toilet seat just like you. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And then just some more storage. More storage, yep. I have... Um, where I can plug in my computers or I can plug in uh, something electrical because I have a converter, of course. I have a little um, sensor over there. It tells me how much humidity is in the air, and that's when I know if I can use my swamp cooler or not in right. the summer. Yeah. And it also tells me the indoor temperature in here, and it's always warmer in here than it is outside. I must warm it up with my body heat. Well, yeah, it collects heat. Yeah. It absolutely. Yeah. Your, your, the trailer, every vehicle collects heat. And it's well insulated, too. He told me that. This man thought of everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it's a, a keyless entry? <laughs> you believe that? How about that? Yeah. He was a guy who liked to tinker. He, well, he you know, did, yeah. That's, but that's I, what I they think have to he say. was a genius. I don't know. He just did everything right, I, I think. He did. Yeah. Everything I've I seen was is very, really nice. Very pleased to get it. Yeah. Well, let's look back here. Okay. Can we open the uh, and see the swamp cooler? Sure. Swamp coolers are very, very easy. And they're very simple and easy. You have a pump. You can put uh, several gallons of water in here and ice. Ice, if you have ice to start off with, the water will be cool right away. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the ice, it takes a while to cool down. And then it blows, it, the water drips from here, through here, all the way through it and then the, it cools it, and then the pump pumps it into the trailer. Well, usually there's a fan that blows it through. And yes, there is, up here. Oh, and so it pulls yeah. it up and in. Yes, Right. up and in, yep. Yeah, and I, I spent the night at a casino, and they had full hookups, couldn't believe it, for free. And, I, and it was still hot out, and I did use the AC when I was hooked up. I thought, oh, I'll just spoil myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it, it was good. Yeah. No, and swamp coolers work astoundingly well in the desert where it's dry. Yes. You yeah. can't use them on the East Coast. It, it, no. uh, the humidity just makes it worse. Right. Oh, yeah. But it out does. here, they work fantastically yeah. well. Yeah. Okay, and so how much did you pay for the trailer? I paid 2000 for it. Oh, that's fantastic. That's what I thought. Yeah. I thought with the workmanship and everything, what it includes, I was very happy about that. Yeah, that was yeah. a great deal. The solar is worth so, quite a bit. I know. All, all the things are. And he, and he just does such a great job. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and he did it with uh, care. Yes, he did. He didn't just slap things together. No, he didn't. No. It's going to last you a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I hope so. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. So, and do you just found it on Craigslist? Uh, yeah. I, I lived in... Uh, um, Phoenix at the time, and I did find it on Craigslist in Tucson. So I traveled down to Tucson and, and bought it. Yeah. Great. Yeah. It wasn't that far. Right. Yeah. So, folks, keep your eye out on Craigslist. You never know what you might stumble upon. That's right. There's good stuff on there. There sure is. Yeah. Well, Karen, thank you so much for sharing your life and your home with us. It's really nice. You're welcome, Bob. Thank you. I wish you all the best with it. Thank you. Folks, I know you got something out of this, you, out of this video. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.